Hey guys, it's Media Bottle, it's Chris Tomer, and this is the On the Snow Snow Before You Go forecast. First off is the spider chart, odds of best snow next five to seven days. More purple, higher on the web, better chances of new snow, and there are a lot of places on the list. I'm really focusing on two different storm systems. One early in the period, 213, 214, 215, and then one later in the period, 219, 220. So there's going to be some pretty big totals, Colorado, northern New Mexico, um, to some degree, moderate accumulation over the Wasatch, heavier up in the Tetons, heavier in Montana. Pacific Northwest, in particular, Washington State looks very good, and so does Sunshine Banff to some degree. So we'll look at all that um, coming up here in this update. But to hear my bullet points, so the main storm system of the period is the, is the first one for a lot of places. It's colder. There's good jet support. There's going to be some wind energy with this thing. Um, and then the second storm system, obviously that's longer. It's a longer range projection, 219, 220. But that one also looks like it's going to have some cold air and some decent jet support from both the northern and the southern branches. So it's nice to have two uh, storm systems that we're watching, that I'm watching. Here's the, uh, the water vapor satellite, the current setup. Let me mark everything so you can kind of see the, uh, the main features here. So... There's a little low right here that uh, dropped a little bit of snow in the Sierra. That's going to move south and become a southern track. Um, not the big storm, though. This is the one that I'm watching, that one and the one behind it. So this would really be storm one, and this one would be number two. The eventual tracks of these into the uh, the Pacific Northwest, and then they drop down through the Inner Mountain, and this one actually becomes an Albuquerque low and spreads heavy snow into southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. Second storm takes a similar track, um, but a little further south. This one may come further south and then dig its way through the Inner Mountain West with good jet support from both branches. So that's what I'm looking at at this point. Let me, in fact, let me show you what the jet's going to look like on 220 with the second storm. You can see um, the big trough, the big dip in the jet, powerful. There's a southern component and a northern. So it's actually looking decent as well. Um, so watching both of those for the uh, the time period. Let me just show you the timing of this on the uh, the forecast radar and the satellite. So here we go. So this is Monday morning at 6. There's that little low tracking through the southern tier. Here comes the main storm d diving down. And there's Wednesday at 6. Albuquerque low. Then it moves out by the 16th waiting on the next storm system. So that's uh, the 17th right here. By the time we get into the um, 18th, it's starting to move on shore, and then it matures with the jet on 19 and 20. So there'll be a little drier period mixed in there before all that happens. All right, let's look at totals. Here's 213 through 221. This is accounting for two different storms, so it's the combination of both. Looking at uh, two to three feet up there through Baker, Stevens, Rainier, Timberline, and Bachelor, and about a foot potentially through Sunshine, Marmot Basin, and Revelstoke. I like Montana, especially around Big Sky, Snow Bowl, Discovery, Whitefish, and Swites are with that sort of rundown on the flow, a little blow off with both storms, and looking good through the Tetons, one to two feet. Again, that's a combination of both storm systems. Um, in Colorado, two storms definitely, and southern Colorado gets the most snow along with northern New Mexico. There we're looking at two, maybe three feet in a couple of areas, especially over Wolf Creek. And Taos, is, this is going to be a great period for Taos. Take a look at the timing of all this in the, uh, in the article that uh, goes with this video. But things are looking very, look at the snow bowl down there in Arizona. Um, I mean, in Snow Bowl, you're probably looking at three storms, the, one, the initial one and then the, the two that come behind that. All right, here's a specialty map. This is for southern Colorado. Again, two storms combined to produce these totals, but uh, really big stuff here. Looking at uh, Wolf Creek at three feet, maybe more. Um, even down in the, the valley floor is around Durango. We're looking at almost two feet during this period. So there's going to be some snowy roadways and highways. Um, Red Mountain and Silverton high on the list with this one as well with a couple to three feet out of these uh, these storm systems. So awesome. If I go to the northeast, it's totally different. The storm track just is not favorable. 213 through 221, very light snow. And that's probably going to be it. I really don't have any big storm systems. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this On the Snow, Snow Before You Go forecast. Take care.